Good morning everybody and welcome back to the channel. This will be episode number one of working on this yeah. Working on my deer line. I'm looking underneath to see how he's got this built. Okay. He's got a he's got a four by six beam right down the middle of it. plywood on top using an extension cord to run the lights for the battery the battery the lights I'm not sure how that's gonna work out but I need to cut a four by four gonna call it just shy of 19 inches on the width see that, I want to say it's probably about eight. Alright, that'll be our first step. Oh, here we go. Watch fat guy get up off the ground. Lucky you. Alright, turn that camera around, get it to the saw. Nothing runs on solar around here, that's worth having. Give it a wacky. There it is. Get my Thor hammer out. They're going to be used for a, uh, yeah, a sub. What do you want to call them? Uh, sub, uh, stabilizer jack. Here we go. I'll uh, get brain working here in a minute. All right, so that's the first, uh, first block is in. Now I'm going to go ahead and uh, get up again. And then I've got these uh, 
big three inch screws. Kind of a heavy duty deal. I don't know how well you can see this. I have a tendency not to be a real good cameraman. So we're gonna put a couple of screws along and through here. And then uh, I'm gonna put some through here to give me the reinforcement that I need. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna go from there. All right, let me put this on pause so I can get my uh, impact drill. Well, I forgot to turn the cam camera back on for you. But I uh, shot two of these big uh, lag screws into the top, two into the side, and then uh, I picked up, there's the uh, stabilizer jacks, and it's supposed to be 5,000 pounds times four. I hope that's 5,000 pounds each and not 5,000 divided by four. It's hard to, hard to know with these companies. Okay. So I need to unbox that real quick and show you what I got. Be right back. Okay, I got my jacks out of the box and came with an attachment for my drill. And I've been using it to lower that jack. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to raise that jack up before it makes contact with, the, with my floor before. And then I'm going to... Put it together on this one side. Just like that. Now I've made contact with the bottom of the trailer. Make sure this is where I want it. I want to get it as close to the edge as I can. Turn it a little bit. Got to do it this way so when, whenever I raise these jacks up, it's going to stick out on all four sides, probably about that far. So you got to watch yourself when you're walking around it. So here we go. Let me get my, my other drill and stuff, and we'll put that jack on there. Okay, now I just gotta, gotta make a little round a little bit and uh, gonna put on. I won't bore you to death with any more of the, the details. I'll bring you back when I get uh, get them mounted and let you see how everything works. Okay, I've got this particular stabilizer jack installed and then of course it's got that fitting that it came with and when I'm ready to go, that's all I gotta do. Uh -oh. And there it is. And then when I get to, the, get to the hunting area, boom. I didn't read the instructions, but I'm I'm pretty darn sure you need to put some grease on that all thread. So anyway, that's one side. That's how it works. I'm gonna get all get them all done. Bring you back. Let's look one more time. Stay tuned. All right, guys, there it is. That's the uh, rear stabilizer jacks. So the uh, platform is ready. So I need to kind of figure out what exactly I'm going to do if I'm going to if I'm going to uh, 
buy a blind that's already built like from that I guess it's, they're called muddy it's four foot wide I think it's six foot long it gives me a two foot platform to climb up on here in the back or build a four by eight all right till then this little video video segment is going to be brought to a close I may uh, I may add the uh, new uh, smoker on this video because we're getting ready to uh, season a brand new Oklahoma Joe smoker so I tell you what let's add that to this video so stick around and we'll learn how to do that Alright, I'm back. A little after 3 o'clock, and boy, I tell you, I don't think we're going to have a spring this year. It just went right up in the sun. But uh, what I'm fixing to do now, I've got some canola oil. Pull these grates out real quick. And what I'm going to do is put a coating of uh, canola oil in there. This firebox probably it'll be okay because we're not gonna have a problem we use that to grill with. Okay, now Bring some paper towels out here, so be right back. Okay, I'm back. I didn't realize how unprepared I am here at the house, and everything that we we have, we take to the lake. All right, let's see if I have enough lighter fluid for this monstrosity. Probably not. Now it's catching. That's good. Yay. Okay. Soaked for a minute or two. Let these coals catch. I'll close it up. Let it do its magic. Alright, well that's what I'm gonna do the rest of the afternoon. We're gonna bring the video to a close. Getting this one thing this thing ready for 
if we do have barbecues here at the house or whatnot, we can at least run the smoker. Looking forward to using this. A little bit. And yeah. All right, you guys have a good weekend. Catch you on the next one. There we go. Welcome back. Thought I'd uh, we got this thing seasoned. And uh, we decided we wanted to try it out. So I got some venison. Oh, catch that. It's a butterfly. So I need to put the still, still froze. Okay, sorry about that, guys. I had to go and this Johnny seasoning is probably some of the best stuff for uh, wild game. I got some venison here. Boy, there's some heat coming out that center there. Okay, we'll let that cook for a few minutes. Be right back. Alright. Some of this stuff is still froze, so we're having some struggles. Didn't pull apart real well either. because I think we forced the issue on the frozen meat. I need to quit laying my tongs on top of the firebox because I still have coals going in it. And I had oiled these. It was great. Middle 
hot spot. Hopefully we won't burn it up. <clears throat> First time cooking on this. And I think I'm going to like it once I get used to it. Yeah, I still got some coals going in here, but it's, uh, it's definitely seasoned. So we won't have to worry about rust or anything like that. We just got to take care of it. All right, bring you back in a few. Yeah, we got those are backstrap uh, butterfly cuts, and this here is just a, I think, just a chop. Oh. Off that grill without ruining it Over here. Probably front leg right there. They are juicy. Alright guys, this stuff's done. It didn't take long. Which it never does with that venison. Backstrap. There's a spot that's not done. Alright. Let's see if you get them. That's where it was froze. So we'll give those a couple of minutes. Let me set this down. I'm going to look this over. Some of it was folding over. And yeah, I think the rest of it's fine. I think it's just, we just had two pieces right there that. Come back after those here shortly. It Thank <laughs> you. 
everybody. Thanks for joining us. I got this thing seasoned and we cooked our first, had our first cookout on it. But again, thank you for watching. We'll catch you on the next video.